Welcome back to the Lost in Talks podcast, the most lit podcast. This is episode number 31. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. Uh, how is everyone doing? No response, yo. I was waiting for Kevin to go. <laughs> and no one says anything. <laughs> what did you say? That's great. Baskin Robbins. 31 flavors. Mm. Baskin Robbins has 31 flavors? Good. what <laughs> i don't understand the late night pod uh the late night quarantine pod yes mm. okay yes cool. fuck that flew over my head dude <laughs> he, he, he didn't hear you properly because you cut off but whatever yeah, it's hard. i cut off or he cut off he did oh, okay yeah okay sorry um <laughs> yeah, i'm chilling man i'm toasty i'm just chilling in the crib man. i'm just oh cool just here doing uh, I wanted to hook up the the synth to the play later. Yeah, can we can we get that? Like possible maybe maybe after the break. We have a break, huh? You're gonna do it now? You're doing it live on the pod. Oh man, yo, I've been struggling with motivation um the last I guess almost week. Um yeah, it's wearing me down a little bit. I just wanna leave my house, but I can't. I feel you. Yeah. Uh, I haven't done shit the last three days. Yeah, I haven't done much either. I mean, my girlfriend is here now for a couple more days, but yeah. she's been here the last three days. So I've just been kind of watching more Netflix than I usually do. Um, no, I but both, even before that, I mean, it was harder to stay motivated. I just find myself go lock in, start working, and then I kind of get eh, sidetracked. I get you. I'll start looking at instagram i'll start going on youtube and getting lost in a couple of videos yeah and then i find that killing like a good three four hours all could be up to four hours of my day i get you but at the same time i feel like it's okay you know it is okay like i i understand that like every th- every single day i wake up i go outside for my morning bowl and then i'm like Yo, like this is really happening. (laughs) Like this is like if you really think about it, it's just kind of crazy, you know? Yeah. It's funny. It's really funny. Like at the same time, yeah. Like I'm trying not to beat myself up too much. Where I understand that at the end of the day, I'm still working towards my goal. And right now it's a bumpy, it's a like a bump in the road for literally everyone. Yeah, everybody's plans are ruined. Almost everyone is being affected in some way. I mean, there's that small percentage that are fucking killing it right now because they've been able to capitalize, and that's dope. Um, and I want to be there, possibly, before yeah. this ends. If not, whatever. It's fine. I'm learning shit as we're going. Um, and, yeah, uh, it's just been hard to stay motivated. Um, but, but I, like I said, I got to remember to just kind of, you know, whatever. Like, I'm still – I'm making progress, so don't beat yourself up about it. Um, no, yeah, I, I definitely feel you on that. This whole week, I've honestly – just haven't really felt like doing much. I've been mostly yeah. just sleeping the days away. Like, you know, those ones where you just wake up and you sleep and you wake up and you sleep and you just do that all day. That's been, that was yesterday and Monday for me, for sure. Yeah. If anything, what I might start implementing is kind of like a one week I do, I'm a little more chiller. And then the next yeah. week I go hard. And then the next week I'm a little more chill. So this might be like the chiller week. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get shit done. You know, I have to do this pod. I have to do a couple things, but, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe next week I'll go hard. And then after that, that's how kind of I've been taking, I've just been doing like, I've just been going with the flow. So I'm like, if I don't feel like doing work today, I'm just not going to try and force it unless it really needs to be done. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if it doesn't need to be done exact, like right now, I'm like, you know what? I'll take another day. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm, I will be touching it by the weekend. You know what I mean? I yeah. do make sure I get to it within a certain amount of time. And uh, I just try to, yeah. And I just try to do something every once in a while. Just so I don't completely lose all the, because for me, work is uh, based on momentum yeah. a lot. Uh, I build a lot of momentum. So, so when I get used to working a good amount of time in a day, then I could do that the next day and the next day. But if I stop like completely or I don't do a lot, I might fall into lazy habits. And then it's like a, like I have to get myself out of that again. 
Um, so I like a momentum is big for me personally when it comes to work. Um, and it's different mindsets, right? Um, another thing actually, uh, with like scheduling my work or whatever I have to, so like you, you know, us three, we do a lot, right? There's a lot of different tasks that we do with our businesses and our, and our, our art. Um, so we're in different mindsets, you know what I mean? So like Kevin's mindset is different when he records versus when he's writing, right? Or whatever. When I'm editing a podcast is different than when I'm writing or when I'm doing uh, the uh, editing the podcast or having a meeting or, or whatever is different mindsets. So I, I'm trying to batch work throughout my day. So if I have to answer emails, I do that all at once. And then if I have to write some, I have to write stuff. I do all my writing at once, like a one batch or one like little uh, section of the day. Mm -hmm. um, instead of doing like a bit of writing and then the next hour I do a bit of Instagram and then I do a bit of editing. So I kind of split because they're different mindsets. So I kind of organize them uh, separately. If that makes sense. You understand? Yeah, I kind of understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, because sometimes it's hard to like be writing and then the next minute I have to have a meeting. You know what I mean? But if I could schedule like all my meetings in the same day, then I'm just in meeting. My, I'm in a meeting mindset. I'm in a meeting mode and it probably end up being better overall. Yeah. 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 I don't know. So that's what I've been trying to implement again, mm -hmm. not as much going on, but so when shit gets more back to normal daily grind, then I would definitely want to try that. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, yeah, no, I kind of, I, I agree with, uh, I agree with what you're saying there for sure. Also, um, what I've found is also keeping me still pretty productive is going along with my usual routine, um, but taking more advantage of like my rewarding time. So of course, like my, my usual routine is I'll get a certain amount of work done and then I'll take a break, yep. you know, like half an hour or whatever. Yep. And then do a certain, another certain amount. Yep. Um, so I've been just in between. I just take longer breaks as well, just because I'm like, I have more time to do what I want to do. So, yeah. Enjoy. And it, that's a good idea. Sometimes I, I, I try this technique where I work and then, but I motivate myself to say, okay, well, if I work for three hours, I get a break. Bam. I could then chill for a bit. So I understand, okay, Ian, you got to get this, this, and this done by this time. And then I could start and I could whatever, watch mm -hmm. a movie or I can, watch a couple episodes of whatever um so yeah that motivates me to get as much work done in that little window of time so then reward myself with a break so sometimes i do that as well it mm -hmm. just depends i kind of try different things um, yeah exactly so it's the technique that i try <laughs> did you figure it out kevin oh yeah Is it, can you hear this yeah as long as it's not too loud it should be good yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> it sounds like uh I don't even know where we are. Like it sounds yeah, it sounds like, like from another like another like, like a spa. Oh, Jeez. Like a Mac like uh, Catherine's house. Like a what? Like I'm at Catherine's house. <laughs> oh <laughs> yo, I've been okay, I've been playing some of that type of music lately. Yeah, eh? yeah. It's I don't know. I can't remember what she was playing, but it's something like that motivation type of the uh, not motivation meditation type of music. Yeah, I've been playing that from time to time while I've been trying meditation. Uh, I haven't done it the last three days because uh, right now my schedule has kind of changed. But uh, why are you looking at uh, your girl like that? You that yeah? <laughs> my routine is a little different right oh, now. Because you guys are sexing. <laughs> 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 that's why you can't meditate you know? he's, he's, yeah yeah he's my head's deep my head <laughs> my head is clouded it's cloudy yeah eh? <laughs> don't kill me <laughs> it's because i get it <laughs> um but yeah i've been playing a bit of that actually while reading it's kind of nice i don't know I don't know. I feel maybe you. I'm weird. No, it's a vibe stuff. It helps vibe. me focus on certain things. No, I feel cool. You. Yeah, I feel you. you know, you can't listen to fucking hardcore rap and read. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. No. You know what I mean? But something like that, something light like that, you can read. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 
Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, did Mans uh, watch Midnight Gospel, yo? Yeah, I've seen every episode. Um, there's only like what eight? They're like twenty five minutes, so something like that. How are you? How are you? In, how, or how did you enjoy the show, Ian? So okay, so coming first off, I understand that. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's two types of people watching this. There's people who are who are just watching it for the first time, whatever. And then there's those people who uh, have are familiar with Adventure Time and know the creator very well and stuff. So I I never watched Adventure Time, barely anything. So I'm coming. I'm that type of person. But um, knowing now that it's from the same person and whatever, it's really dope. And I might watch Adventure Time. But anyways, the, so the animation is fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just, it's literally a trip, like almost all the way through for every episode. Um, it's, yeah, it's colorful. There's so many different things going on that it's hard to understand what the hell is going on. Because the, the, the way the show is formatted, and I won't spoil anything, but... It's uh, it's basically a podcast. So Duncan uh, Trussell has a, he actually has a real podcast he's been doing for years. And uh, basically in the show, the main character runs what they call a space cast. Um, and he uses a simulator to go to, I guess it's alternate planets in the simulation. Mm-hmm. Um, and the planets are fucking weird. Like there's usually a theme around each planet, but again, it's just, there's so many different weird elements and creatures and things and shapes and whatever's going on. Um, and it's usually based around, he has a guest, he finds a guest on each simulation planet and they have a little podcast and they usually talk about some deep ass shit, like, uh, some death life and death and drugs and magic. existential stuff, huh? Magic. magic. Yeah. There's a bunch of different topics they hit. Um, and their podcast with actual real people who are educated on this topic. Uh, what one, the first episode was a Dr. Drew, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the, the guy with the show, but they talked about like drugs and how that affects people and stuff like that. Um, and it's just so cool. And one thing I know about the show, there's like, from what I found, there's, you can literally watch each episode. There's two different ways of watching each episode. Like you could, watch it while listening to the podcast and focusing on what they're saying and then you could watch it again and literally just watch the images right mm-hmm. and you get it's almost like two different experiences yeah that's what i got out of it and i thought that was interesting and sometimes i also found it was hard to even pay attention to what the hell they were talking about <laughs> that was personally me because i was so caught up in what the fuck was going the what the fuck shit that was going on every five minutes that was um, because you wanted to overstimulate your vision yeah audio so that yeah yeah it 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 was it was trip it was hard it was hard to focus on what they were saying because it was just visual overload yeah exactly Mm -hmm. that's how i describe it Um, and and also i would say sometimes just information overload like you're getting lost in the words that too and the images and then you're just in like a trance almost uh, your brain isn't connecting it because you're listening to it like it's a podcast and i don't think people realize that when you listen to podcasts without uh without video like you're imagining people talking but mm-hmm. when they're pairing it with this visual that is completely different from the visual yeah. you're getting from what they're talking about your brain yeah. just put them together you know so you're yeah you can't connect the two it was hard it was hard i think the first two episodes it threw me off i eventually i kind of got used to the way the format or whatever you want to call it um and i was able to kind of focus more on just the audio versus the visuals um but yeah no it was it was clever the way they did that um yeah 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 i didn't um, i didn't get think? to i haven't watched all of it yet i just watched the first couple episodes so far mm-hmm. i'm probably gonna watch some more tonight um but uh yeah like the first episode i was like what is going on i didn't really get it at first and then yeah by the second episode i was like oh this is the thing like yeah. This is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, then I was able to like step into the world a little bit more and then kind of immerse myself. So uh, I've been enjoying it so far. I've been enjoying it so far. I was, uh, I was watching the interview earlier with um, uh, Duncan Trussell and Joe Rogan. Um, they did an interview, I think maybe, when was it? Today? A couple of days ago? Yeah, I, I, I watched a bit of that, not all of yeah. it. Yeah, a couple of days ago, and they were just talking about the show and everything like that, and um, 
yeah, man, it's just uh, just some of the stuff that they're explaining and just the concepts and some of the ideas that they're going yeah. through. Even just the character design is just um, very interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting. He's like, he's like, Duncan is like, like someone's going to get me tatted. Like, can you imagine like someone's going to get my character tatted on them one day? Yeah, they were talking about that. Yeah. And uh, what, they're going into the drawing, like the drawing process and mm-hmm. how crazy it is. Um, I, I, I never heard of Duncan Trussell to literally the show. I don't know about you guys, but uh, now I'm intrigued by his, his content. So I'm going to listen to his actual podcast. I'm interested right. in that. When I Googled him, like I recognized his face, but I didn't really know anything. Mm. Yeah, like he's been doing his podcast. He's been doing since like fucking, he's been doing for like six years or longer. I look back, it's like, holy shit, he's been doing this shit for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Um, and and like I'll talk about the Adventure Time creator for a sec. Um, definitely, like you could see the kind of similarities in the animation. But you can tell that the creator of, uh, called the creator of adventure time you know he has more freedom with this one for sure Mm -hmm. it's netflix so he can get away with uh certain things that he couldn't with adventure time and there's so many little sexual things like did you see like a little dick just pop up on the fucking screen (laughs) (laughs) Uh, the simulation thing looks like a huh where they especially like animated like i imagine if i you know like if you want to become an animator you want to do like a kids or like a teen type yeah right that's a bag. Once you, for sure. you know, Adventure Time is what nine seasons. Yeah, yeah. something like, like once okay. you the show for that long, then you 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 know you and you he's like thirty five, forty now, so it's like you're ready to get to that place where you can express yourself a little bit more and you have more of an understanding. But you could feel like Adventure Time felt as honest as this one felt, you know, in terms of like where where he's coming from. Adventure Thanks. Time is definitely um not as like philosophically like explicit but like it does get into those same concepts the same if you want it if you want to but obviously it's intended for kids whereas this one he's like he knows that the audience is going to just grasp these concepts if you're just talking about them very plainly you know rather than like suggesting them or like i mean even on adventure time sometimes they would just literally be saying like these crazy ass like time warp concept things and it's like (laughs) Mm -hmm. facts you know like what they're saying is Adventure Time? I never really watched it. Is Adventure Time a children's show by definition, or is it more like a I, kind of I, in between? I mean, I don't want to say it. It's it's more of a it it's more of an yeah. in between. It's like Simpsons kind of. It's it's one of those ones where, yeah, yeah, I saw that. It's one of those ones though where it's like it kind of depends on the episode. Oh, okay. Because they get like with Adventure Time, it kind of starts off really childish but like kind of adultish because you can kind of you can watch it as an older person but then yeah. if you really stick with adventure time it gets real like yeah stuff, i feel that like but stuff that, from earlier seasons start getting brought up and yeah you start seeing the whole story overall right it probably just doesn't have the sexual or the swearing in it, it kind of thing 13. it's like those the kids could still watch those episodes that are crazy but yeah, yeah. They would be understanding everything that would be like going on or whatever right yeah Hmm, I might have to check it out now because. Uh, no, definitely watch Adventure um, Time. Adventure Time's a really great show. Yeah, I just it's like uh, it's like two different moods. Adventure Time is like you can kind of very casually watch it, whereas Midnight Gospel is like you got to be very yeah. into. And I think that was part of it too. Is like you wanted to have these two very different experiences. You know? I kind of fell off the whole like adult animation type of uh, those types of shows for a while, so I'm kind of getting back into that. Um, so yeah, I might check the adventure time out. I know it's not an adult, adult swim type of show, but I might try it. I probably will now that I know the creator, of the other show is dope. So yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of shows like that. Like honestly, yeah. if you just watch adult swim, like, yeah, that's what I'm is. saying. Like I kind of fell off Fine. those types of shows for a long time. Yeah. I used to watch more, but I kind of Rick and Morty got me back into those types of shows. And then now I gave this gospel show a chance. I'm like, yo, this shit's crazy. Um, but that show's really unique, for sure. I don't think anyone else could execute that yeah. the way they did. Um, yeah, I mean, but, yeah. Great. Like it had to be like this guy with the podcast and Pendleton with like these crazy ideas, and it had to be, it had to be yeah. people you know coming together with the ideas. Yeah, it was it basically two separate ideas that they put together. Like, hey, like you have a cool podcast. And then let's animate around it, essentially. Yeah, exactly. You know, 
Um, like it's funny because uh, that's kind of become a thing now, you know, where people animate their podcasts, but then you know they animate yeah. it and it's very literal to the story. And I enjoy watching those too because it's fun to see like you know uh, an animated visual of like you know those Vice what's that one Party Party Legends or uh, is that what it's called? You know, I'm not like, sure. <laughs> party stories and then they animate it have you ever watched that joke i know which one you're talking about but i'm also thinking about like even like drunk history but yeah, um, yeah. oh that oh, yeah. type of format yeah okay like yeah i have like an animated one too now and like uh, yeah um, whatever like yeah a bunch of people or even youtubers are doing that so i think that's what he, he did and it's kind of like you know flipping that that type of style completely around by like making it these visuals that match but don't match you know which is kind of sick mm -hmm. well i want to mention uh, when you get to the last the last episode it's crazy um it's really good you saw it kevin yeah it's, it's pretty fun it's it's deep once you've yeah he's talking i mean it's not a spoiler to say that he's no, doing I, I saw comments he's talking it. to his mom he's talking to his yeah. mom so yeah. it's it's actually like more personal i guess to him and it's it's mm -hmm. good it's good though it's a good way to wrap the first season and yeah. I'm, I'm assuming they're going to make another one. Um, I just yeah, people, people say that one's a real turkey. Glad that it exists as a show because I feel like, you know, as we, once we finally start getting it, we, we, we got to do a web series, <laughs> which I don't know if we've ever talked about, but we got to get that going. And mm -hmm. like, you know, it's good to see shows that are like pushing boundaries because A, it's like, what, you know, for instance, like a show like Rami where I, where I saw where it's like, you see like, you know, this brown um, American doing all these things in a cool way. I'm like sick. Now I don't have to do that anymore. We can, that. you know, so we're like, we're in a really good place right now where like people are doing all these cool things. And like, even like something like this, like the quarantine, like people having all these different ideas about how, you know, how people can create content and stuff. Like yeah. we can, it, it's good to see that. Like we can, we, cause I feel like there's going to be that idea that we come up with where like, yo, that that'd be crazy like i feel like we could have came up with that midnight gospel idea you know a little later down the line you know what i mean but mm -hmm. see that yeah yeah i don't know about the animations it's just crazy i don't even know how one can imagine what they're creating there <laughs> it is it is wild um i don't know if that involves tons of different drugs or or just a really strong sense of imagination um well, the, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy um, 11 minutes and apparently they used to take like eight months for one of those episodes to be completed yeah yeah holy shit yeah you have uh, a lot of they work for those things they work on those things for a long time they do i mean even this one by the way is drawn in america i they said that on the joe rogan episode mm -hmm. um so that's good um that probably took longer then <laughs> yeah some guy in the comment section actually of the video i was watching was actually shouting out um duncan because he's like yeah man like we've had all the animators of the show because he was an animator he's like we've all had conversations with duncan about his ideas and they just feel like he's he's approached it so genuine and they're like really love the direction that he's taking things so far so i'm excited mm -hmm. to see you know what uh the future holds for sure yeah yeah i am um season two mm -hmm. be dope and you can kind of, and it's one of those shows that can technically probably never, I mean, it could end, but it doesn't have to end because you just podcast more animation, yeah. endless amount of content. You know what I mean? When I yeah. say that, exactly. yeah, there's no storyline. It's kind of yeah. just whatever, keep going. Exactly. Um, now I'm wondering every time uh, Clancy ends, he keeps an item, right? And I wonder what that's going to mean later. I feel like that's going to mean something later. Yeah, we'll have to see. He always keeps an item from his adventure and puts it on the shelf. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to mean something in the future, but I find I just found that little note. That is a bit of continuity that they're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. Adventure Time was like crazy with continuity, like in terms of. Yeah. It was like it got to the point where like you don't even want to, you know, that it connects to something that happened and you're just, you don't even want to go back and. Cause it's just such a deep and like layered storyline at that point where you're like, yo, I just can't even remember this. Yeah. When those shows do continuity, it's cool. Like I like it. Um, Rick and Morty does it a little bit, but sometimes they get, they go off on whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, I like a bit of continuity too. Keeps me in the, 
idea that this world is real and they are going day by day you know what i mean mm -hmm. not like whatever just happened yesterday doesn't exist type of thing that, so that was one thing that used to cheese me about like cartoons specifically was when they wouldn't be uh they wouldn't care about integrity or like you know when spongebob did it a lot where they'd have a close-up mm -hmm. detail and then the next frame that detail is gone or like something that they were holding was gone or something yeah oh yeah it's just kind of me a little bit. obvious continuity yeah but like these new cartoons especially like this new these new wave of like cartoonists and animators and stuff like they're very mm -hmm. about continuity and stuff and it's, it's getting, yeah like don't get me wrong attention. once you get to like hundreds of episodes it's hard to keep that continuity uh, I know what you mean by like next frame, but like the storyline type of continuity, it mm -hmm. gets hard <laughs> once you have that many episodes. I feel like. Yeah, like I remember, I remember watching shows like uh, whatever, like SpongeBob, where I'm like, they say a detail, and I'm like, I swear, you know, that contradicts some detail that they said yeah. in the episode. You know, so there's things like that where they kind of create something just for that episode, and but mm -hmm. like, yeah. time i'll remember to uh, I forgot it. Gonna song yeah. that melody. that's fine that's fine that was beautiful thank you is that a song that you have <laughs> or you just made that up right now <laughs> meditation music you know it's yeah. meditation music that was the quarantine serene <laughs> <laughs> or the serene quarantine <laughs> <sighs> Or right, where we left left off, it was end of our midnight gospel talks, right? Yeah. Any other last? Whoopsie. Any other last thoughts? I'm good. It was a great show. Great show. Recommend it. Go watch it if you like some trippy shit. Go watch it if you like some deep conversations. There's there's both. If you like either, it's for you. Um, and yeah, honestly, it's cool. It's a good one. It's short episodes. So it's kind of the topics they kind of they take you out of you know they, they they talk about all these bigger things that run through history and show that you know all of these kinds of different topics are really connected and stuff so it kind of not takes your mind off the quarantine but shows you that there's more to you know be happy like be hopeful for you know uh, honestly way. yeah uh, the timing of that series coming out was really good um good time to be um ingesting that information yeah. um some positive stuff uh it's good it's good good timing actually yeah it's beautiful, <laughs> Very beautiful. so uh you guys just gonna segue to the next topic um i saw a little post about a, a ufo <laughs> and i mean you hear ufo sightings every once in a while um but this was by the pentagon <laughs> which is kind of surprising. Yeah, um, they, they officially released some uh, UFO videos. <clears throat> yeah, because it's different. There's a difference between some guy up in the mountains being like, yo, there's a UFO on a shitty camera versus um, the Pentagon confirming something or showing the world something. Um, so what does that mean? Like, is this, I don't know too much about it. I saw the video. Um, well, <clears throat> What does you think that means? Like, <laughs> first, UFOs don't mean anything alien, right? It's an identified flying object. That's what that means. Yeah, people forget that's what that means. One. Yeah. It looks very alien-ish. Right. But still, we don't know. Of course, of course, we don't know. God damn it! I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what this shit is. I mean, it doesn't look like a plane, right? Um, yeah. Planes don't move like that. Um, and you would know it's a plane if you saw it. But, um, the fuck is it, though? <laughs> is it the asteroid? <laughs> Timing is just kind of stupid. I think that's what... 
<clears throat> what's uh what the most alarming thing is cool we got it pulled up but Perfect. i guess like do you think that it would have been as impactful if you know this wasn't going on and and this got released or you know, because on the other hand, people might have been making a bigger deal about it because there wasn't, there wouldn't have been anything going on like this, you know. Mm -hmm. Wait, can you see it? No, I see your Facebook. <laughs> oh, so this here, is that work? Is that better? I don't, I don't, I see your Facebook. Holy, exposing the man, man. Eh? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. How about this now? Or I no? got the DMs. I got your DMs. <laughs> no, yes, no. Now I see it. You're on CNN. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> i wasn't too sure okay um yeah did you did you see this video kevin no uh, i only saw a picture and it was looking kind of bummy so i was just like i'm not even <laughs> it's real bummy footage it's like from the 80s or something like the 60s or some shit yeah wait 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 so this is oh, oh shit so this is not recent footage no this is some old footage oh okay i i didn't know honestly <laughs> i saw this shit on six buzz <laughs> like i normally don't fucking do like i normally fucking do and they don't fucking say shit <laughs> they're terrible at journalism just don't even anyways <laughs> hopefully that plays on my shitty wife they're, like, Here we they're go. like aliens facts or no <laughs> like, uh, you seeing that i hate these things because they can't just play the video i know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, I want to look at it too. You know? Does not reveal any sense. Okay. Shit, yo. It's but Bob... it, looks, it looks really alienish, though. Yeah, is Bob Lazar tripping out right now? Like, you know that guy? Bro, that's, he's a legend. Yeah, he's like, yo, I told you. I told you. <laughs> Probably. Oh, man. So, yeah, the, the way it's moving. Oh, never mind. I'm wrong. It's from 2015. Okay, it's still old footage, though. It's not like it was like last week. I thought it was um, older. I thought it was like the 80s. Okay. But the way it's moving is really weird. It just looks like it's hovering. And there's Trump. I don't want to watch this. So. Oh, say word. What? Did, oh. At the same time, I'm kind of curious to what he said. I'll watch it later, though. Um, I'm just yeah. kind of curious to see. It's a flying he, saucer. You know, it means nothing. It's a fucking bird or whatever. I think it's Al Qaeda. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. It's wild. Very yeah. wild stuff going on there. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this up for now. It's, it's what a weird time to... You said that, right? What a weird time to be showing this? Like, yeah. Why? What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. What, unless it got leaked by somebody in the Pentagon. They're like, fuck it. Otherwise, why would they... <laughs> I, I, I was hearing that um, this involves some type of first step from the government that the people have wanted for there to be more uh, transparency mm. about aliens. Oh, shit. That's what I heard. That's wow. the word on Reddit. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Like since the Area 51 shit or? Yeah, I guess. So like this is their, st this is their way of saying, all right, here's some information. To start building this relationship or, I don't mm. know, start dropping more info. I don't know, like... And you see the, the alien sex video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're like... And I'm like, <laughs> it was <laughs> real. It was real the whole time, yo. <laughs> you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Yo, link in bio. I got... <laughs> link in the bio. Don't kill me. Link in bio. Don't put it in my bio. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> what but, is this yeah today i got i got our world star video so i saw this the other day and i was like this is it this is the one so i've had this in my tabs since okay i rewatched it today to make sure it was still impactful wow. and i checked out world star to see if there's any good videos and nah this is the best so that we got yeah so the the title reads <clears throat> What do you think would happen? Truck driver lets out a turkey in the middle of the highway, and you already know what went down. Do I? I mean, I don't, but I guess I do. I? <laughs> <laughs> so turkey? First, what I'm going to say is, I'm just if anybody's seen this video, or if you are watching along on YouTube, or if you just have the video pulled up, um, 
I do think this is edited together. This is a hundred percent real ish. Mm. Okay. So both parts of the video, I believe, are real, just not together. But for the sake of the internet and what it is, we're gonna believe that it is real. Okay. So I'm gonna run this for the boys, all right? <clears throat> That's a turkey. Yep. That's a real turkey. And this and guy, he tossed, oh! it out of his, he tossed it out of his truck onto the highway. And the car hits it immediately. Dude, that shit it just disappeared. You know? And now this is the driver. Yeah. He's like, bro, this is fucking crazy. He's like a fucking bird. Holy shit. <laughs> So, so he opens he got, the door and the fucking turkey is there. So they grab footage the from two different guys and put it together. That's what I'm guessing because it doesn't look like it was in the same area. It doesn't look like the same car. You know what I mean? But it could be real. It could be real. Holy, I'm showing that to Tamara after. Holy. Yeah, we'll pull it back. We can watch it one more time. <laughs> Show you after. I was like, this is definitely the best video. That's all. That's like R.I.P. Turkey. But bro, these the types of videos there's one more video i want to show you guys but it's only good with audio so uh -huh. i'll just send it in our chat and you guys watch that yourself. bro like that that is also proof of when you hit something at a high speed what happens yeah man. like he could have died he could have died yeah like that shit went through his windshield and he's bleeding and like, god damn it's just well i actually that might be the turkey's blood but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be the turkey's blood. I'm not too that, sure. I think that might be it because of the fuck. Things dead in his front seat. Oh my god. Like, that is so mad. Mm -hmm. Oh man. They're big birds too, so fuck. Yeah. Ask that's, that's that's one of a kind video. That's what I'm saying, man. That's why I love World Star, man. <laughs> you don't find stuff like that and twerking and murders and stuff like that all in the same place anymore. Reddit's cool and all, but it's not you have to really go looking on Reddit. With World Star, it's just provided. You know what I mean? It's just there. A couple scrolls. Yeah, no, it's true. It's right yeah. there. You gotta know where you where you actually want to go. Whereas World Star, it's kind of like it's like a film. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I just pop in every now and then, and I see what's going on, and if anything uh, interests me, I toss it in the next tab, and I keep scrolling. Whatever's uh -huh. hot is on that front page. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's good. That's good. <sighs> but yeah, man. Yeah, yo, keep hitting those with those those videos. It's great. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Um, another type of little news that happened today, which I find it kind of crazy. Um, I guess it's, it's space related too. Um, so apparently, an astro, a very large asteroid. We're they're estimating around the size of New York State. Um, actually passed just past our earth today. Um, and it wasn't like crazy close by any means, but it was close enough where it's uncomfortable um, mm -hmm. and noted, um, which is wild um, to think. Um, and they, they've known, they've actually known that this thing was coming since uh, 1998. They first spotted it. So it's been on its way here um, for almost, tw almost over 20 years. Um, that's wild, right? Yeah, that's crazy, man. Cause, and these things are happening all the time, um, but we just don't know about it as like regular humans. You know, we're just we put so much trust in these people at NASA and stuff like that to kind of find these find these uh, asteroids or whatever that are coming towards us, and they gotta find if it is in our way, they gotta find a way to deflect that or something. If they don't like we're dead, and that could happen any day realistically. I mean they. Right now, they could have fucking have known something that's coming 30 years ago and it's coming tomorrow, but they probably wouldn't tell. Like, would they tell us? No. Probably not. There's no reason to tell us. Why would they tell us the world's end? Like, literally, that's judgment day. Like, the world's ending <laughs> if they, they told us. They tell us if we have like 24, 12 hours left. Yeah, they tell us like the day before. And if you like just show your family and that's the end of the world, yo, like, which is wild to think. Um, We're right? going through it now, too. <laughs> yeah, with the there's I mean that's the other threat pandemics. Um 
Netflix just, I haven't seen it, but Netflix just put out a little thing about pandemics with, uh, explained, you know, little series. Yeah. I don't know why. It's pretty what good. Cr- it's kind of, um, it's, it's like, I mean, you, it's all the information you already know. It's kind of just like, yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to fully beat it until we have a vaccine. Yeah. Has all the usual characters. Bill Gates is really vocal about this. Um, it, it got me thinking like, fuck you. Like I, don't mind if we stay locked up until like we know for sure what we're dealing with and you know that's true get back out that it's you know it's not gonna spike again not to talk about it too much the skeptical side of me is still like you know this is a flu type disease that's a little more deadly and i think once we build immunity and get that vaccine we're gonna be fine it's fine um that's just my opinion um so uh yeah but again it's important to wait it out um now right and not yeah. you know crush the curve as they keep saying um which basically that all that means is just spread out the infections not because the because if you get thousands of infections the next day the hospitals get flooded and then half of the people in the hospitals are going to die because they don't they can't even get the proper care so if you just kind of spread out that that those infections throughout the next few months then the hospitals can take care of the people and not get overrun with infected people. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of the idea because I think the percentage of people that are getting infected, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? It's going to happen. Um, that, uh, that nurse who killed herself, uh, uh, she, she beat the disease. Like, and then she, uh, or doctor, doctor, or nurse, doctor. I, think it was I haven't heard that story. Um, Canadian. No, I think she was, oh. uh, yeah, I don't. I I think it was. I think I saw it yesterday. I didn't really follow up. They just said she committed suicide, um, and she recently uh, beat the. She she contracted it and she beat it. And uh, she, her dad was saying that she was recently just talking about you know being overwhelmed by like how many people were dying before they even got to the hospital and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's uh, one of those things. Yeah, the, these people. And medical care are, yeah, they are putting their lives at risk and also probably under mass amounts of pressure. Um, well, they are. I'm not even going to guess. They are. Um, and I guess, yeah, I, I can understand some people being under a lot of stress can put pe- certain people under over the edge um, that are probably more sensitive to these situations. Um, so, yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. For but sure. uh appreciate all these people all the people in medical care that are doing their best working the overtime and i started to think like i bet there's there's a there's a there's definitely quite a few of them that don't mind because i feel like they're making bank right now with the overtime they're making bank so <clears throat> definitely not no so they're complaining about bro they're not making enough bro vans are telling them yo the, this wage for what what we're dealing with this wage is not enough but they're getting way more hours than they would normally so they're definitely they making more money but bro that doesn't matter when you're putting your life on the line <laughs> look at this guy i mean yeah but no it, there's there's gonna be different people's opinions like um i feel like those if, guys get their hours anyway though right like don't they always work yeah for sure they're all yeah, I mean, they're already working 78 hours a week <laughs> no but, but but they get into an overtime so they might be getting triple pay is what i'm trying to yeah, say yeah but they're they're they they just got four dollars on top of that dope so that's four hour four four dollars plus triple pay is not like a lot then i don't know whatever it's not for us to comment on we're not putting our lives on the line yeah and I, I get it like it's it's like <laughs> it's like um blood dollars i don't know how to describe it it's just like money that's like yeah you're getting paid much, more because you're at risk yeah how much is my life worth yeah i get it four more dollars right now i get it but those people who really need the money they're probably like at the same time like fuck i mean this is helping me though yeah so i gotta don't i gotta it's a hard money. thing to deal with uh psychologically like think about the amount of phone calls they have to have with because you know the the, the people's family can't see them yeah in their last moments so there's a lot of like phone calls that these people are having with with the families like you know communicating last words things like that like that can't i'm sure like psychologically it's just a really that's more of the toll than the actual like work wise it's the same amount of work they'd be doing but just like 
the toll of everything, you know, like how people exactly emotions they're feeling and stuff. Exactly. There's a lot going on. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I understand. The show. Yeah. Yeah. No one no one's winning. I get it. Um I didn't mean to be like, yeah, like these people are getting privileged. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I'm just saying there is a little little side to it that, that they are getting a little more money, but whatever. Um and I find it funny that he's now raising that our premier's raising uh the ra- after he dropped it, <laughs> now he's raising it. But so that's it's so like this whole this whole situation is just ironic just because if you think about it too, like teachers weren't even in school anyways. Yeah. For most of the the, the whole school year they were fucking striking. They weren't <laughs> even at school. They're on yeah. strike. For education this year was fucking right off. Exactly. And then people are complaining about, yeah, we don't have enough money in um, the medical system, blah, 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 and this and that. And then we get hit with this. Mm. Like, it's just really funny. It's just ironic. Mm. There's a lot of the shit that's going on. It's just really funny. Mm. Mm. Really, really funny. But hey. Yeah. So they're going to try and open schools, so though. I think that's from what they're saying. It's going to be one of the first things they're trying to get back open. Um, so we'll see. But uh, they canceled exams for high school kids. I read something yeah. about that. Yeah, they canceled the exams. So I think that I think the year's done then for them. But uh, the elementary kids, I think they're trying to get back in there for some, somehow. Um, you know, it's so bad in all of this. All I care about is basketball. <laughs> <laughs> what about ball? Yeah. What about sports, man? Look, ball. Yo, did you hear? Uh, my uncle told me uh, Dana White. He bought like some island. Yeah, some and they're holding fights there. They're gonna have like everything set up, what? tests going on and stuff like that, and they're gonna be able to hold fights there. Yeah, and they're gonna have that. the guys there for like two weeks before. It's crazy. You serious? Yeah, bro. They know. Let me look this up. <laughs> what the already. fuck? What'd you say? Bought the island already. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He bought the island and everything. Dana White. What the hell? This shit's gonna be Mortal Kombat, yo. It's gonna be crazy. Be island fight, fight island is real. What the fuck? <laughs> fight island, yo. Fight. This, this is real life. <laughs> fight island is real. <laughs> Movie. UFC fight island being built direct, right now. Directed Spy Kids. <laughs> you direct this movie. Fight island. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's crazy. There's a photo of the island. Wow. Yeah, you know, Dana White bought an island for fights, so they're gonna be holding fights. How do you there. buy an island? Like, where do you contact the fucking global? I don't know. Yo, apparently you can buy islands. Though. Like, I've seen some on like real estate. Is there islands that like no one, like countries don't own or something? Not, it's not that they don't own it. It's they somebody owns it, but it's like it's for just, sale. Like, it's just land. It's like an for eight- sale. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's all it is. It's like something like bro. You get a Japanese island, like Japan owns it, but you can buy it because it's. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right, right, and but you're you're a part of yeah. the Japanese your yeah, economy yeah. and stuff like that. Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. Way where with certain islands where like you can become your own country or something. I think like Richard Branson's island. Is yeah. Like so I was thinking about tax and that's stuff wrong. like that. Do you pay island tax? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like that's so Even weird. If you watch HD TV, bro. There's some shows where they have like just rich white folks that just they just want to live on an island and then just buy like a little remote island off of like the Dominican or some shit. And that's crazy. They just chill, bro. That's crazy. Have yeah. their grandkids come up and a few celebrities have done that. I think oh. uh, Johnny Depp bought an island. I think like a thousand islands, right? You could cop one of those, I think. Yeah. Ontario there. And I'm sure yeah. I think there's some in like yeah like the the Maritimes and uh, Vancouver, like around Vancouver and shit. That's wild. That's mm-hmm. lit, bro. Your own little island, just like that'd Johnny, be kind of scary. Johnny Depp bought an island for three point six million. That's it. Jeez, brother, cheap man. What cheap. the hell? That's crazy. Build whatever you want there. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Yeah, I found one from Japan. It's only two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, it must be like a tiny one. It must be like a tiny one though. A uh, thousand square miles. I don't know how that's like a that's like a loft downtown. Square f- miles? 
Wait, you said miles. That's not. That's huge. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I thought you said square feet. Square feet is nothing. That's a little rinky dinky island. Like that's tiny. <laughs> Wait, what? Big. I mean, it's just it's all trees and shit. That's like you could drive on well, that's that. That's late, yo. We're in Japan, so whatever. We just cut that down, yo. We'll build up a lodge. Shit, the Lin Island. <laughs> Lin Island. What is this? You sent a link in the chat, eh? So you know, look at the yeah, island. I love how like every time I use Zoom, I'm learning something new. <laughs> Facts. Oh, Some of these are seventeen million though. 17 million that's still, that's still not that bad like when i think of a fucking island i think it's like yeah like 50 million or some shit like something stupid like that you know yeah like i think you it's rent one you could rent an island that island for like super cheap man or the fire fest or whatever yeah 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 right that's what i was thinking that's yeah. what i was thinking when ian said all that shit i was like oh there's some place somebody did that before yeah yeah wow Private islands, Japan. That's wild. I'm trying to think. 12 million. This one in Fiji is 3.7 million. Which again, not bad. That's Fiji. Oh, it's a section of the island. Okay, it oh, just okay. it just told yeah, it's a little section. But like fuck. You like, a, little, a little Fiji water spring, you know, and you're you're set. Dude. That's what I'm saying. Like you start an island, you then get a business on that island or something. You just chill. Or just whatever, just even just a place to chill. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I have to think about that. Man's a rich. Yeah, man, <laughs> just have some money like this where I could just buy my own island. I did not That's know. Where we'd be. That's where we'd be right now during all this. Yeah. But yo, all right, fuck, man. Just leave me, just meet me on Lynn Island or whatever. And then- an island, yeah, an island during, during some major crisis, an island would be perfect to go to. And we just chill there. We can go on adventures, you know, walk yeah. around. Yeah, technically, we'd be fucking good if there was a zombie apocalypse. I'm gonna show you guys this one. Look at this one. This one's nasty. As long as we can, uh, figure out a water source, and I'm liking, I'm liking this one right here. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is a nice little spot, yo. I mean, damn. The man of the resort. You know? So you got that whole little resort, private beach. And then if you want to go into the forest and go exploring. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you could always expand. I think it's sick to have one that already has a resort on there because then you don't need to be, you know, getting building over it all the time. And so, like, yeah. If you buy your own island from scratch, like, you know, it'd be hard to, like, get people over it. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So I guess, I guess you own the island, but it's like half of it is nothing because it's just like forest. So it's like not really much to do. But but you, there's probably animals and shit in there too. So you can hunt that. Shit. I'm sure there's animals. Hopefully they don't kill me. But I'm eating orangutan. Orangutan. <laughs> That's so fucked. <laughs> You're gonna eat Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, I'm some orangutan <laughs> with some beetles, yo. Some beetles, some <laughs> those big ass ones. Yeah, like from those Lion King. Fucking giant ass beetles. <laughs> Look delicious to me when I watched that shit as a kid. Yeah, bro. I was like, yo, those it's actually. Up, yeah. yeah, when you're slurping those, I was like, <laughs> pause, but hmm. slurp. Did they, did the live action? Did they have the, that slurp action? Yeah. It wasn't the same type of slurp, bro. <laughs> the slurp in the know. original movie was definitely more effective. That was one of the most like memorable, weirdest memorable scenes to me. If I think about that, you know, like in terms of like the the feeling that it got in terms of like the taste, like, I could really taste the slime. Yeah, pause. <laughs> and it was good for some reason. Yeah, pause. He did it for the first time, and he was like, "Yo, this shit's hard." Like, so pause. Like, All right, fine. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You have a, you have another world star video. Oh, this is the one I wanted to show you guys. Oh, oh, oh. before. Okay, another time. And we have we have another ten on here. Yeah, this okay. is one I wanted to show you guys before, but you watch that when this video ends, when we have to end this meeting. It's fine. Um, let's touch on that uh, that Travis shit quick. Um, since we yeah. Have stuff here. Sorry, let me just get a sip of water. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, 
Travis Scott hosted his own mini concert on Fortnite the other day, um, which I, I saw some clips. It was pretty lit. Did you, did you guys see any clips? Yep. Yeah, I saw a few. Let me pull that up for you, Kevin, because this shit was pretty lit. So he had 15 million different accounts um, all live watching the concert at once. Mm-hmm. And um, hold on here. Let me see if I can pull it so was it, was it like a special server? Because it's like obviously not a game. So it's weird. I don't know. Um, I guess so. I mean, none of us were participants in this, but uh, we yeah, saw the videos. Man. This shit's freezing up. Holy, what is the quality on this right now? 10, yeah. 60. That would have been sick, though, if they, like, did a concert and you could walk around. Yeah, this is what it is. So is that what you could have done? Like, you could, you could walk You around. could walk around. You could be anywhere in here. This is just, like, cool little yeah, yeah, shots yeah. of it from the company. But all these characters down here, they could do whatever they wanted. Sick. Yeah, yeah. It's they so have sick. they have like a a few hundred of you. So it's like again in Fortnite, it's like a hundred of you in a server. So you, so there's a hundred of you all just chilling, watching all this shit go down. Yeah, and you're actually hearing his music, and yeah, there's a. Uh, you know, VR might really pop off right now. Like that's what I'm saying. Like something like this, this would be amazing. Oh, like, VR concerts. Yeah, that is. That might be the time for like people to come with the right ideas because i think like it just wasn't a like i don't know like, yeah i guess the vi- the video games are were cool but i feel like they're still kind of niche and uh like but like i think they could execute a concert and that would be like a big thing to to get the popularity up you know yeah so this is when he's doing sicko mode he's huge holy shit everybody just dancing and shit and then he, this is where he dropped that him that uh, that one track with um, for the project for the Scots with him and with him and Kid Cudi. So he dropped it, yep. this, I believe. Yeah. Oh yeah, that song. That song's pretty dope. <clears throat> That's crazy. Yeah, this is this is basically what it looked like. But uh, yeah, pretty wild. Like just to think that this is what some of the possibilities are for technology and what you can be doing. I'm in the yeah. future. You know what I mean? It's just wild yeah. just to see. Never would have thought that that would happen. Like uh, yeah. Travis Scott literally is in Fortnite. Like they yeah, made a Fortnite version of him. And he's massive. And you could be a character and you could be him as your character. Bro, I wonder what the bag he collected on this. Like that's what I'm wondering as it's well. It's a very interesting deal. And, yeah, I'm like uh, wondering what this contract looked like. Like what, what yeah. was the deal here? Yeah but it's wild and uh it's just showing that yeah video games have always been big right but mm-hmm. i think the last just to throw out a number you know last several years um gaming has become so mainstream pop culture and just cool you know what i mean there's a time where gaming was not like cool you know what i mean when i say that yeah now it's so like mainstream and esports is so fucking big like esports is essentially bigger than some actual real sports um, to the point where bas- the, the NBA, the actual NBA is getting involved with esports. Mm-hmm. Isn't the commissioner of the actual NBA and have a real draft for uh, esports players? I saw that. That was crazy. They were, they were talking about doing some stuff with it, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> they're taking it that serious where the actual mm-hmm. NBA is getting involved with 2K, for example. Yeah. Um, and it's uh yeah i think esports will probably be the one of the biggest sports industries or if not or it is almost already but it will be soon Mm -hmm. very soon i even want to talk about like uh how this just shows how as corny as it sounds how hip-hop is you know Mm. how it translates into other mediums and places and yeah uh, how worldwide it is now you know what i mean Hip hop has been one of those genres. Hip hop and maybe a bit of EDM, but hip hop for sure has been very uh, uh, in that gaming culture. Um, like you look back to Call of Duty, um, and they would play like a lot of. Uh, you know who got big in gaming music was Logic. Logic, mm-hmm. 
they would, people would put logic songs on uh like sniper montages call of duty sniper montages actually a phase clan blew up i think they were part of logic's early success um and yeah like gaming and and hip-hop have always meshed really well yeah from what i've seen over the last decade um so you're right you're right for sure it's big it's big but yeah big moves for travis i'm i'm a travis fan like i don't really care about what he's doing but i'm travis fan so this is just cool Mm -hmm. to see you know what i mean yeah i don't play fortnite personally i don't Fortnite at I all. did. I did when it was, you know, yeah, coming out. I did, but I did too. And then people just got too good. Yeah. It's one of those games where like, okay, anyone who's still playing it is just really fucking good. Yeah. Um, like, I can't build like that on my PlayStation. And so. they just dominate. They just dominate. It's like CSGO. Like, yeah. If you've ever played CSGO, those guys are, are, they're crazy. Let's just say they're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Because exactly. they're like aimbot, like, and they don't have aimbots. They're actually using regular their hands <laughs> and mm. it's crazy how 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 good they are um but oh a stupid question i know this doesn't matter at all but where do you rank where do men's rank travis right now uh like uh in hip-hop you mean and yeah on a number like top five or yeah okay jesus christ that's so hard um <laughs> I think popularity wise, he's probably in the top five. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, he's in a weird place because there's so many older people that are just better that are still making music. Um, you know what I mean when I say that, like the Kanyes and the the, the Kendricks and mm-hmm. Coles. Okay. Um, but he's in a different era. Not really. I guess. I guess he's almost in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Um, I'd say yeah. he's in the top he's, five. I'd say he's maybe he's in, fifth. He's one hundred percent top ten for me. Um, he's just out of the top five though, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He might be like a seven. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Seven feel or eight. Like it's it's cool just to see uh where Travis Scott's come from. You know what I mean? I remember finding that dude on fucking blogs and shit, and mm-hmm. and hearing oh he's working with Kanye and. That's how I this found and it. This about Yeezus and yeah. all this shit. And now he's like one of the biggest stars. So it's just cool to see uh, where he's come from. You know what I mean? Yeah. And where he's at now for sure. He's been in the game for what? Like seven years? Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 The first clip we need after this. That was uh I know that song. That was great. (laughs) A different version of that with like different instruments every time. (laughs) Oh yeah, that'll be hard. But yo, uh any any (laughs) other but yo, any other topics you guys had? Um we can do a quick one. Uh Drake drop views. We kind of already talked about this, not this, but this type of stuff before, but they dropped views, I believe, today or it was yesterday, uh, four years ago. Mm-hmm. 2016 was a good time. I remember when yeah. I dropped, lived in the, in that apartment um, near near McCowan. Mm-hmm. Good times. Good year for music, good year for Drake. Um, and I was saying this uh, off the pod, uh, already four years, which is wild. Uh, that yeah. went by quick. Uh, mm-hmm. I feel like that shit was two years ago. But it was already four. It's crazy. Yep. Um, but yeah, uh, views. What do you guys think? A lot of people say it's a weaker album. I don't know why. I think it's a better one. Than, the whole uh, though, Tommy had his whole argument on the interwebs about it. 
Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> that you considered it a classic, and a lot of people didn't. But uh, I do consider it a classic, and I, and I do feel like peop- a lot of people sleep on, on a lot of the songs on this because they forget that this just had a lot of hits, like back-to-back yeah. tracks on there. Yeah. You really were to think about it. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely a classic. I think, I think it's more of a classic for the city. Maybe not for the rest of the world, but more for us. You know? Maybe that's why they don't they don't yeah. see it like we do. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, like you said, a lot of hits. Uh, you had crazy mega hits to fuck Hotline Bling. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, I mean, I don't even count as part of the album, but it was on there. Um, bigger. I think One Dance was his first number one hit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that too. Oh, fuck yeah. That, that too. What else was there? There's a lot. Um, one dance. Is there any other bigger hits he had on there? Yeah, that song. I think that did a little number, right? Which one? Good. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Good. Uh, the, I'm so bad at remembering song names sometimes. There was, yeah, there was Keep the Family Close, Nine. Yeah. Be With Me, Feel No Ways. Feel No Ways. Hype, Western Road Flows, yep. Redemption, yep. Me, Faithful, mm-hmm. Still the Here, Controla, One Dance, Grammys, Child Controla, that was a big one. Pop Style, Too Good, um, Summer's Over Interlude, Fire and Desire, Views, and Hotline Bling. Yeah. And like reading that back, most of those were really fucking big tracks. You know a lot, I mean? like um, most of those are memorable. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and then you talk about like Scorpion and like, it's not the same. Yeah. Scorpion's not like, the same. Like you just like half those songs are not memorable to me. Mm-hmm. You know, a little okay. bit from A side, a little bit from B side, but yeah, yeah, not okay. the same impact. Um, I'm realizing, I'm actually kind of realizing that now. And mm-hmm. uh, cause I used to talk, I used to be one of those people that talked a little more shit about the views and I, maybe I was so focused on it being a Toronto album that I mm-hmm. uh, kind of forgot how good it was. I was just so focused on that. Yeah. Um, and now looking at the music that he's made, the albums following it, was more life made after or before? My bad. Is it after? After. So the albums after it, just yeah, views is way better. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Shouts out Jersey. Mm-hmm. Doing this thing for too long now. So mm-hmm. whatever. Cool. Um, cool man anything else <laughs> cool man keep doing you uh no i think uh it's really late right now guys like 2 a.m <laughs> he's trying to go to lay down with his girl and stuff you know i'm tired so i was just trying to get cozy and cuddled you know look he can't say shit he's like, <laughs> maybe oh, it's possible it's possible <laughs> um no i'm gonna go watch that uh maybe that 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 Sintoya documentary mm. it's i don't know if you've heard of her story it was no. like pretty famous story i don't know she was tr- tried for murder for life uh by a guy who was potentially raping her um but anyways yeah <laughs> deep i she no yeah. that sounds familiar yeah, yeah was she a oh. younger girl sorry she was very young too that was also controversial Light she skin? was like yeah, she's like 15 or something. Okay, yeah, I remember that story. Okay. Yeah, 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 and a lot of celebrities were backing her. Um, yeah. She got released recently, um, but yeah. she was in jail for a long time still fighting that. Um, so. Well. <laughs> well. Bed, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a weird thing to watch. <laughs> Before bed. Wow. Man. <laughs> like, huh? I probably watched the all that crime shit I probably watched before bed too. Like I'm not watching that like while my parents are awake to be able to sleep. So. Yeah, yeah. It's kinda one of those things I zone in on I zone out on. Have man's ever fallen asleep with Oh shit, he froze. Froze there. You froze, man. Have you guys ever fallen asleep with like first forty eight on? Uh fallen asleep probably. That's just wild, man. Yeah. Every time I fall asleep with Fuck, he froze again. Oh, my fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, your connection is unstable. My Trust. Wi-Fi is trash. But anyways, yeah, I have some wild dreams when I fall asleep during first 48. That's all I want to say. 
But um, thanks for listening to the Lost in Talks podcast, episode 31, Quarantine Pod here in the dungeons. All in our basement dungeons. Yes. <laughs> um, we appreciate you listening, and uh, we will catch you guys in the next Potterino. <laughs> All right. Later. Later. <laughs> you sound so tired, man. Later. Later. Thank you for listening.